so this is the 280k skids. Now, we're going to assemble it. The hasps, handle, and epoxy sheet are attached. And next, we need to put the cells into the box. Each cell is pasted with EVA tape. The right module is the same as the left one. Put the last cell into the box. Get the front plate in the place, and fix it with screws. The compression would decrease the irreversible swelling of cells. Get the PCB holder plate in the place, and fix with screws. Put a copper gasket onto each cell terminal. The copper gasket is used for a larger contact area, and less heat generation. Then the aluminum bus bars. Connect to the cells in series with these aluminum bus bars. Here's the pack positive and negative. Fix the PCB wire onto the holder plate and connected each cell with the data collecting wires and the middle cell with four temperature wires. The PCB wire features a shorter cable length, which is more endurable and significantly decrease the risk of wire short circuit. Fix the LCD screen onto the front panel. This one is for better BMS heat dissipation. Get BMS fixed onto the front panel. Seplo 16's 200 Ampere Smart BMS is applied. Fix the bus bars onto BMS. And then the fuse holder and fuse. 400 Ampere fuse is applied. Connect the bus bars with fuse, gaskets, and fix them with screwdriver. Connect P-positive terminals and P-negative terminals with BMS, and fix with screws. Connect LCD screen with BMS and the wires for battery monitoring. Then we can get the front panel to the battery box and fix with screws. Then connect BMS with PCB wire, B negative, and B positive. Then we can get the top cover fixed. Paste with LCD screen sticker. And this is the 280 battery pack. Custom logo is welcomed. Please contact.